Taurus, welcome to your April 2022 general tarot reading. It's Raina here. Ooh. And that's set solar eclipse <laughs> on April 30th. I guess uh, I got some money. I've been getting a lot of pentacles, baby. That's that's uh, money. Money, money, money. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's pick an additional card. Okay. So, um, it's really weird, you know, because the, well, it's not really weird because I did get, let's start, usually start with the middle card. I'm going to start with the past position. We have the five of pentacles. This can be unemployment or, um, concerns about money, feeling, feeling lack consciousness. Okay. Now, do you notice I said feeling lack consciousness? I didn't say being without money. There's a big difference. So you may be, um, not having gratitude for your life and seeing what you don't have instead of what you do have. Now, if I hold this up closer, you see the pentacles. What is in the backdrop there? A stained glass window. And what that represents is a church. And what does a church represent? The spiritual side of life. So Taurus is an earth sign. And uh, that's why pentacles, you know, connect to the earth element. So it can be job, it can be the body, it can be all these things. And when someone has a situation, let's say that you have lost your job recently, but you still have money in the bank. You know, you may act like you're down and out, like you can't get another job or, you, or not that you can't, but that the world has ended when it really hasn't. Uh, you know, Taurus and Scorpio are going through eclipses, and this means that you have to be prepared, whether it transpires or not, for your life to change. And it's not going to necessarily be things that you are implementing yourself. I mean, at least on the mundane level, maybe at a higher level, all of that is your doing orchestration. But at, a, at the mundane level, you may be doing things to keep your job and you lose it anyway. And that's true. It doesn't have to be an eclipse. Let's face it. We can do a good job and still lose our jobs. What does that tell you? Does that, when I say that, does that make you feel like afraid or does it make you say, nod in agreement, say, well, she's right. I can't, there's no guarantees in this life when it comes to these mund, uh, these worldly matters, these earthly matters, because things are always in a state of flux. They're not just, if they weren't, they would be kind of rotting away because they wouldn't have any life to them. So, you know, decaying. So we don't want life to just sta be stagnant. It may seem like it's a good thing, but it's really not because it doesn't uh, allow us to grow. So um, this could be just in your life in general, that you're just cultivating this, um, attitude of maybe this is somehow fear-based that got injected into you because of some other, some prior, um, negative experience that you have like, you know, really absorbed and you think that. You have to avoid that situation at all costs. So ignoring the spiritual, ignoring that, or ignoring the, the, the fact that you are able to do what you're doing in this moment, even if you don't have everything that you want. So that's what I mean by gratitude. I don't mean that you're just like, oh, everything is just so perfect in my life. No, it doesn't have to be that way. So the central theme here is the sun card. And this can be a card of love, health, abundance, vitality, which I guess is connected to health, but that, you know, kind of that, you know, feeling like you have more energy, 
Um, this is your solar return. So maybe you've come through, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that that could be, maybe you're coming from like a hard, um, few months. I was going to say a hard winter, but I know some of you live in Australia and New Zealand and it's not like that, but, um, the sun card is about success. And for some people, if you've come from a lot of, um, you know, the, I was going to say, say failures or something like that. Or if you've come from a situation where you've never had much money and you start to get it, be on the lookout for a lot of negative emotions to arise. You would be really shocked that that can happen because of good fortune. And really there, are, I feel like these could even be psychic attacks or this, you know, some of this too, because these are thoughts that the swords relate to thoughts. So it could be some kind of psychic attack, but it could also be within yourself because you identified so long as the person who was losing that when you win, it throws everything out of whack and it can cause a person to start to doubt themselves and think, wait a second. Um, have I always been wrong about life? Because I, I, you know, it makes me question everything I've ever thought. And plus you may not feel worthy. So it may feel scary to, to, to have success. Don't, don't worry because, um, you're just embrace what you've got. Don't worry about it. And, and really feel like you deserve it. Like you, that's another aspect of lack consciousness that you don't deserve it. The higher message is the seven of pentacles. This is a card of patience. This is Taurus, a Taurus vibe to have patience, to wait. So maybe this is how success came to you and also with love. So if you've been somebody who's been through the wilderness with love in April, you may find that special someone. I can't guarantee it, but it could happen. I mean, let's face it, it can happen in any moment of your life. And you are patient. What patience means to me in this context is being able to wait for someone who is worthy of you, not just jumping at the chance of anybody who shows interest, but really having an interest in them as well. What crosses you is the three of swords. So if you are involved with someone else and it's on again, off again, and you are waiting for love to come in, this is going to make it more difficult. I mean, just even if you think so logically, let alone energetically, because you're bogged down with somebody else. You can't, if you like, if you are with someone who is, um, kind of jerking you around and maybe they're not nice to you. And so you break up with them and then you get back together with them. Um, all those times that you get back together with them are times that you're putting yourself off the market and you're the person that is meant for you could be waiting for you and you're not available. So the three of swords can be a clean break and you're not allowing yourself to have a clean break break. So you're just like kind of got a little bit of your energy is leaking from that, or maybe a lot of it is leaking from a relationship that you can't just put to rest. Also, this is a card of a three, I was going to say a threesome when I actually meant a, um, a, um, what do they call those? A, a lover's triangle. And that is causing problems. The sun card too, you know, you know what I feel like? I feel like the, the, th the five of pentacles is like having the mentality that something is better than nothing. And the sun card is like honoring yourself, having respect for yourself. In addition to having respect for other people, obviously we should have respect for other people. But what I'm saying is that the sun is the self and it's the elevated self. 
So it's not allowing yourself to accept less than what you deserve. It's having that sense of pride, that sense of honor, self-love. And the seven of pentacles is being patient to wait for something of value to come into your life. So with the three of swords in reverse, if you are involved in a relationship where there's another party also involved, you're not honoring yourself. It's more like the five of pentacles where you're like, I have to deal with this person, even though they're married or involved with somebody else, because they're showing an interest to in me. What if nobody ever showed an interest in me again? Then what would I do? And that's not the point. You know, there are, there are things to be honorable about. Uh, you have to believe in yourself. All of this to me is a sun card, having confidence. What's coming in is the five of swords. This is about slander, double, two-faced people. Um, if you lie down with dogs, you're going to get fleas. You're going to get a person, if that's what's going on for you, who is probably lying to the other party about their relationship with you. Um, this can be gossip. This can be an empty victory. So in other words, I mean, I know I'm kind of like, now I'm kind of turning it into like this, this um, lover's triangle, but it really does go along with that. So you don't, you can disregard that if it doesn't work for you. Um, it's the card of, um, you know, other people putting their two, you know, other people gossiping about the situation but also an empty victory in terms of you, if you get that person and if they leave their wife or husband or what, what have you, it's an empty victory because you're with somebody who is capable of cheating on their partner. So what does that make you? It's not, you know what I mean? It's, it's not much of a, it's not, it's nothing to celebrate. Let's put it that way. But this is, to me, this can also be a situation where if you're having success, be prepared for the haters because they're going to be like, oh, they didn't deserve it. They didn't, you know, <laughs> uh, they just were lucky that, you know, it's because they look good. You know how tourist people tend to be attractive. Um, you know, she slept, she must've slept with the boss to get, <laughs> to get that promotion. Um, don't listen to the haters. The outcome, I did pick an additional card, but the outcome, 10 of swords, this is a card of betrayal. So this could just be simply understanding what, I mean, these could be coworkers. A lot of times I think that the, these people are coworkers and they could be like, what? She got the promotion. And then, you know, kind of like behind your back, seeing all this stuff. And so you can see that this has been going on. You can see what, what you've been working with. Um, but also, this can be a situation where um, the, the, the worst is over. So as I stated with the five of, of pentacles, you may have been going through a rough patch. And now you're starting to be on the upswing. So I just picked an additional card just in case. It just seems too like negative. And I got the eight of cups. So leaving behind what no longer serves you. And something may come about with the sun card. That means that you no longer have to put up with a negative situation because you have either the money to, to leave or the, success to leave and that means it's all good all righty then Taurus I hope that this resonated if you would like a private reading the link is below take care bye